Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks again. Um, I did a video earlier this morning, or earlier today, I guess it was, on a layout, uh, scrapbook layout, because I told you now I'm caught up on my orders and now I need to catch up on my scrapbooking. Um, the first layout I'm going to be doing, or the layout I'm going to be doing now, my, not my first, I did one earlier. Um, the die cuts, or the die cuts, die cuts with the view is who the packet I'm going to be using. These are those um, paper stacks that you can get at, at uh, Michael's. Um, typically I get them either with the coupon or when they're 40% off. I really like die cuts with the views um, cardstock because it's really heavy. Uh, I like the heavyweight paper. This one is the Animal Crackers and the colors on this layout, actually this background color is open stock from uh, Michaels and I'm not real crazy because it's real thin however I wanted a green and whenever I'm doing scrapbook pages I really don't like solid colors in the backgrounds I like a print but sometimes I want them really subtle uh, the reason I was thinking I die cuts with the view the last pages I did was actually from this packet the, the background page as well however my granddaughter was here at the time when I was um, when I was working on that and she was working on another scrapbook page and it just wasn't uh, I don't know how to, how to word it but it wasn't uh, working well trying to film it we I'm teaching her how to do layouts as well so anyway um, this strip that I cut across the top is from this die stock of this this packet and there's glitter um, and this is kind of embossed the animals up here this is a three inch piece here then what I did is I took my Martha Stewart punch that's a um, it's kind of a scallop edge with a bunch of little dots cut out I took that and cut along the bottom edge of this three inch piece that goes along the top then underneath it I put a one inch light blue strip of cardstock and the reason that I put that is I wanted you to see the you can't see it real well on camera I'm sure but I wanted to see the pope the little dots from the punch and I lined the two of them up together so that when they open up the pages match line up together this one I'm going to do first um, the little boy's name is Nolan and I had made these letters actually let me see here I'm gonna put the elephant down first this elephant that I did he is five I got my paper on the right five inches and he is from the um, Creative Critter Cricut cartridge. Um, I told you I don't ever use my Cricut machines anymore, and I really don't. However, this one was um, already cut out. I have boxes full of, of pieces um, cut outs already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm kind of babbling here, but I just realized what I wanted to do on this. I just thought of something else. I wanted to gra add some grass to the bottom of this. Again, I always have pieces of um, things cut out and ready to go, but I want, I want to add a strip of grass to the bottom of that. So I just went in my little handy dandy drawer here and got some of that. And let me see here. This this um, this was his. I believe this was his first month. My friend gives me the um, pictures that she wants scrapbooked in envelopes, and she just labels them by month. She doesn't really give me much more detail than how old or not not how old. Yeah, but this is his first month. I'm babbling here. You know what, it's 10.30 at night, and I probably shouldn't even be doing this right now. But this is my way of unwinding before I, I call it a night. Um, my, my son and my daughter and son-in-law were over 
with two of my grandkids. They left pretty late and my husband passed out immediately. So I have some downtime here and this is what I do in my downtime. I, this is my relaxing and scrapbooking is really relaxing for me. Now, I can't remember where I had this the first time. I'm going to put it right about, you know what, maybe I better see where I was going to put these. I had done these letters a long time ago because I had bought a packet of recollections that had the letters with the little animals, B is for bear, C is for cat, E is for elephant, etc. I thought they were so cute that the first thing I did is I had to buy it and then I had to come home and make them myself. You know, you buy those packets and you use a few letters and there's a whole bunch of letters that you never use. And I think they're such a waste. So I never buy that stuff anymore. But I made them myself and then I never used them. So I resurrected those from my cartons and boxes and I have got so much stuff. I've said this before. I'm on a I, I'm always on a mission to try and use up what I have. I'm gonna pop that the O the octopus for the O, I'm gonna pop dot that on here. And then I can't remember when I put these together. Some of them were pop dotted and yeah, I don't know. I must have been very ambitious when I made these. It was quite a while ago. I needed tweezers. So I can fit the letters together really, really tightly because I don't have a whole lot of room. And I'm just following this blue here as my, my guide to hopefully keep them even, at least somewhat. And A, and that one had an alligator on it. I'm gonna pop dot the alligator too. And actually, I think I'm gonna have to cut my pop dot, my little itty bitty pop dot, and I actually have to cut it in half because that's not going to fit on there. And there we go. Whoops. Another three weeks to go before my next grandchild comes along. Daughter number two is just hanging in there. This is her third and I think that um, she is so ready to have it over with. Her younger sister who can't, who doesn't stay pregnant, but for, well, way under 40 weeks, that's for sure. By the way, uh, my little premature grandson is catching up and never guess in a million years that he was as premature as he was. He's doing absolutely fantastic. And we're just getting ready to book our trip to Disney World for November um, with all the grandkids and kids. I cannot wait. My favorite place in the world to be is in Disney World. Okay, I got Nolan's name on there now. Now I'm going to slip this down here. I think I'm going to go up here a little bit. is isn't originally where I had it, but let me see. I don't want to cover up too much of the border either. And there we go. I think I'm going to go right there. When I do scrapbooking um, pages for folks, I know that there, you can buy pre made packages out there or pre made um, scrapbook pages with your photo mats on them. However, um, when I do scrapbooking for folks, I, um, if they want to, they can get them, they can order them um, pre made where they can just put the photo in themselves. However, I prefer that they send me the photos and I can build the, the um, pages around the photos, which I like for colors and stuff. The, this particular ones that I'm working on now, not so much because uh, there's not a whole lot of to build around on a newborn. This is a brand new baby. But when as they get older, I like to do the pages around you know, the theme if they're swimming or 
birthday or whatever it is and match up the colors but um oh anyway i do prefer to do it with the photos and another reason too is if i do a pre-made page and i got the photo mats on there that means your photos need to be cut to fit my mat and yeah i have to he's laying but i don't like it turning the other way um i babble i do i do i do um anyway then then if you've got a little tiny picture and this big mat it, it's just hard to to fit them on there because none of these are uniform i put them on the paper and then i cut them out and um i just really prefer that over the mats all being the same size and we're going to put that one right there and i did get one of them awake one of them crying and one of them sleeping and over here there's a picture of her his big sister kissing him his big sister when he was born she was only 14 months old 15, 14 or 15 months old I'll tell you what, that is one, one brave woman. Even though I have four children, well, 13 months apart is a little bit close for me. Of course, my daughter, my second daughter, her two children are only 18 months apart. I guess it, I guess my last two, or my first two, no, no, my second and third are only 19 months apart. That was one crazy young woman, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I've gotten any better with age either. Still crazy. Anyway. Anyway, and then, these little animals are actually from um, some SVGs that I purchased online probably three or four years ago. I don't even remember. It was when I was using my scales years and years and years ago not years and years but it was a long time ago and i haven't used them and totally forgotten about them until i got my um uh cameo and i loaded them because i absolutely love these these are actually called um there's one that's called pal frames and these little guys have a frame that you can print to, for your mat like of animal prints. All I wanted though was the animal on these, so I didn't do the frame. Um, that's I, I didn't want that. All I wanted was just this the little guy in his in his greenery here. Let me see. Now I don't know how I'm going to put them. I think I'm going to put the elephant over here and. I am going to cut, i got the peanuts on here, and I'm just going to snip that one peanut off from the back. There we go. And then I'm going to put the little, I think I'm going to pop dot him. That'll give it a little zippity doo dah or whatever. I really do think I need to call it a night. I should join the snoring machine in there. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to peel off all the backing on these pop dots. Okay, and then I think I'm going to kind of tilt him up here. And then I'm going to do the little monkey. I absolutely love this this um this is one of my favorite SVGs. I don't buy them anymore in the days that I did. I loved this one. And I don't know why I hadn't used it in a while, but goes perfect with this this zoo print paper. Put that there. And he's got some bananas here. So I think I'm going to pop dot his bananas. And I'm going to let this little monkey have two. Let him have two bananas. And what I did on the bananas is I um, actually took some of my Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink and edged around the 
the banana itself to, well, I guess I did it on the banana peel too to give it a little bit of, uh, of color and make it look more like a real banana. There we go. Now, I'm gonna bring you down here and show you this layout. Again, I'm gonna be doing a lot of scrapbook layouts now. If I don't have any other things on the books right now, then I'm gonna be catching up on my scrapbooking pages. And there we go. And there's my little, and I think my battery's about to go dead here. It's flashing at me. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.